Okay, so we're going to do a love reading for all signs. This is a collective reading. I am at the beach in sunny Florida. It's very beautiful out here. Oh, we got the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Wow, you got the Wheel of Fortune. Like, this is awesome. So, Nine of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody's getting wish fulfillment and um, a new, I see a very fortunate um, time happening here for all of you. Someone might not be single anymore. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Um, this is normally someone who's very independent and um, very abundant, but in reverse, this is someone who is um, no longer single. And I see someone is dropping a burden here with the Ten of Wands in reverse, dropping heavy burdens. Could be a Virgo. Um, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have all signs here. All signs are here. Some of you are going to be receiving communication very quickly. Somebody wants to offer you. Um, they want to offer you their cup of love. We have the Knight of Cups. The Two of Wands. Somebody's made a decision to offer you their cup of love. Could be with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or this is just somebody who's very stable, um, very committed, very loyal, and very loving. Very loving, nurturing person. Yeah, we have the full card here. They want to take a leap of faith. Let's find out. Um, I feel like this person has been healing and they've healed now and they want to they want to come forward maybe maybe you weren't communicating or something could be an Aries yeah maybe you guys weren't communicating because um, someone wanted to reconcile with you um, but maybe there was another person in the way so they couldn't come forward until they cleared that energy out. Um, I think they took some time um, to think about how um, things were imbalanced and um, there wasn't equal give and take. You may have rejected their offer in the past. They're, they've been watching you. Um, whoever they are they've been keeping tabs on you they see that you're getting over um, loss and regret um, and anxiety and they want to return or they are see I don't know if you can see these but yeah they totally want to come back they could be getting over loss regret anxiety depression They've been keeping tabs on you. They're returning here with the Eight of Cups. They want to make you an offer. They're very passionate about you. They still have a lot of passion. Could be a fire sign, could be any sign. They want a, they want a new beginning. They've healed though. They're, they want to transform this relationship and start over. They want to offer you their, their wand, their wand of passion. Yeah, they want victory with you. With the Six of Wands. 
they may have been in their ego a lot or they may be a very egotistical person which is why there were some problems in communications um, they're gonna come in real flirty and sweet and make you an offer yeah cuz they feel they they've been feeling trapped in their head about you with the eight of swords Or they were trapped in another situation emotionally. And emotionally, they weren't ready to let go of the past and move forward. But they realize that, you know, with the Ace of Cups, they want to. They know where they're where they want to. Um, they know where their overflowing love is is at, and that's with you. And they're going to communicate this with the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands. So, yeah, see, Hangman in reverse, they're coming out of, um, they were, they went on a pause to heal, to get a new perspective. Um, they've been stuck upside down, hanging out in this tree to get enlightenment. And, um, this, this crow here, I feel, is giving them a message, um, that's helped them to get this enlightenment. And now that they have this new perspective, they're coming back around. Yeah, I see here things probably ended kind of roughly with the Ten of Swords. But they want to start a new cycle with you. I feel like they ended something with a fire sign possibly, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There was a third party for some of you. And what is the advice? The Hierophant. Um, so the Hierophant is about commitments. This is the High Priest. But this is about um, being traditional. Um, somebody who's committed to something that's traditional. They want commitment. Um, the Tower. So when you hear about this, it might be a tower moment for you. It might be like suddenly shocking news, like shocking information. Yeah. It may be something you may actually have a dream or a sudden realization, an epiphany, uh, a message from, uh, from your guides, from spirit. Um, I think that you might have a dream or something. It's going to be a sudden realization. Maybe it was something that they had did in the past with the Seven of Swords. Maybe they weren't the most honest or genuine person. I feel like maybe they lied, cheated, or stole from you. Maybe all three. With the Seven of Swords, this person. This person wasn't, wasn't an honest person. They just came in to take what they could get and then they left. But they want to rush back in with the Knight of Swords. Um, I feel like the advice here is that they are going to come back in. But to remember, you know, not to forget this uh, Seven of Swords energy of this... Um, they're lying, cheating, thieving ways. Any more advice, Spirit? We have the Death card. This could also be Scorpio. The High Priest is Taurus. But with the Death card, um, I feel like Spirit is saying, just let it end. Let it end. When they come back, just let it end. Don't, because uh, gonna, they're going to want more conflict with you. The Five of Swords. And they're still going to be juggling here. The Two of Pentacles. They're still going to be juggling. And they're not going to be honest. So that's the advice from Spirit. Let me see if I can get any more information for you. Um, I was using the Witch's Tarot. And we're going to use the Gypsy Witch. Spirit, do you have any more information for the collective?
Okay. So what I'm getting from this is that it could go either way. It could go either way. Um, clouds with the dark side indicates divorce or towards the person ensure, ensures domestic happiness. Um, I feel like, you know, it's up to their free will if they're going to let go of their past behaviors. Um, so we'll see. Is there any other messages from Spirit? Um, so this is the coffin and this, this goes back to what I was saying with the death card, you know, just let it end. It says it foretells of acute illness or loss of property when near a person, um, and a prob and also a probability of averting evil. So remember this person has this five of swords energy, the seven of swords energy. They've given you the 10 of swords energy in the past. And the advice was to let it in with the death card. So that is your advice. That is your advice from spirit. Um, I hope you enjoyed these messages and this lovely view that we have out here. And um, if you like this video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.